to use and throw away. To do the unthinkable, the unforgivable. And it never gave us a second thought. Until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47.
67, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al-Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the center. Welcome! Welcome. Hello! Good to see you. How lovely to see so many familiar, familiar faces here today. And this has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I am from one of the less privileged sides of the respectful Al-Ghazali family. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was worthy of the great Al-Ghazali legacy. So, I would like to thank my cousins, without whose friendship influence this achievement Thank you. I'm proud to yet again immortalize our great family name. But most importantly, this building is for all the people of Dubai. Which is today the tallest building in the world. A feat I'm very proud to have achieved. So I'm humbly proud to open. The Burj Al Ghazali! Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. Careful around here, sir. We're so glad you could join us. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? I cannot believe James called in 
been sick today, of all days. His Highness has everyone... I don't think you're supposed to be here, mister. This is a private area. Hey, I need some help with this guy. You don't just stand there, do something! Mister, you are currently trespassing in a restricted area. Stay calm and don't move. You need to follow me right now. No questions, move it. That's good, sir. We'll be out of here right away. Just expected to be. Can you believe it? God, you just don't get any worse. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Al-Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Hmm. Oh, shit, I must go and get the, um, uh, the, 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 oh, what did I say? I can't remember what it was now, something about the, what was that? Oh, yeah, I can't get it. this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Damn it, a 
silent alarm has been checked. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Again, shall we? Uh, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. It's me. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding gold. something. Can you see anything different in the room? Seven guards are heading your way. Be careful. to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy? Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. Building cameras are now disabled.
The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. Do I know you? I don't know you. Do any of you know this wank thing? How are you? Okay. Got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Grumpy one always wants peace and quiet. I haven't seen him playing golf today. He must be a good one. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. 
How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? You fall hard enough. You tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Brilliant Whitmark, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please... That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator what? hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlyle.
Just keep calm. I'm Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. Ah, Mr. Whitmer. Madame Carlyle has asked me to be of assistance to you. I trust you've had a look around. Are you ready to see the crime scene now? I am. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. I feel obliged to point out the current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body? 47. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm, a photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you.
you personally as well. I will make sure of that. Mark my words. That is Alexa Carlisle, unofficial leader of the Provenance Partners and last one to be alive. A safe in Madame Carlyle's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. You are you, it's time to drop. You are gonna regret oh, this. Oh. Get behind me and stay low. Oh no! Oh god! Down here. Son of a bitch! That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Oh, Lord! I lost visual! I can't see him! I... He's right there!
Mission complete. Well done, 47. How are you today, sir? Listen, Gregory. Something odd. Stuart got word his motion was rejected. We all signed the bloody thing four days ago. Forty-seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! Take us all on? 
don't. Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. find us again. <sighs> Keep your head down. I'll take care of this. Hello. Sorry, reception is bad out here. I got nothing to report, Jao. Jao, can you hear me? Yeah, it's still quiet out here. No sign of I can't hear you. Agent Price. Shit. Stack. Just keep trying, Agent Montgomery. Our client considers Agent 47 and Olivia Hall as a serious threat. You can't underestimate them. I never do, Joe. We'll find them. We're all in position. Good. Report back to me if there's anything. Don't worry. Thames here. No updates. 
target probably bailed. He's here. He has to be. Don't get comfortable. Agent 10. Agent Tams, report. Are you there? That's a second agent down. Are you all sleeping out there? We could not have stacked the deck more in our favor and still... Oh. Swan reporting in. We've got no sign of 47 yet, but I'll let you know if something catches my eye. Just remember your breathing and stay on task. Agent Swan. Hey, buddy, you lost. Does anyone know this man? You know this fella? Don't make me chase you. I've been waiting all night for this. That's gonna hurt me. Agent Swan, are you still there? And that makes three. The math was on our side. This shouldn't be happening.
Reporting in. No sign of target. I'll keep looking. Stay alert. We don't need to give him an opportunity to strike. Agent Davenport.
I know him? We're clear. You killed all of them? They got my message. Where are you? Diner. Up the main road. On my way. You're hurt. You should see the other guy. Never killed nobody before. What you did back there. You really are all Grace said you'd be. 47. He didn't suffer, did he? He made it count. Bruised, but not broken. I'm glad. We start afresh, you and me. Get to the point. You and your friends pulled off the impossible. You stormed the heavens, took down the untouchables, and yet, here we are. Status quo. It just goes to show, you can't fight power, Miss Burnwood. Power never dies, it only changes hands. The best you can do is claim it. I never cared about power. Power is a tool, Miss Burnwood. It's the thing that gets you to the thing. Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. I see, eh? I used every encryption known to men. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. You and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public... You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. 
So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kadanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce, the proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core. And I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. out here with a bad influence. Ah, my knee is so sore. What's that? I fell over. I'm gonna be sick. Get the hell out of here. I got this blinder, and it says I can make a lot of money to be in some experiment. They don't want people like us for that sort of thing. No, they only want people like us. The flyer says so. That means it's too dangerous for rich people. Don't do it. Oh, I'm going. This is my chance. I just need to find out where it is. The flyer has a symbol I need to fly on the building. That's got Hush written all over it, using the desperate for personal gain. Maybe this is a way for you to get to the bastard. I'm gonna get out. Yeah, 
But it creeps me out how they're different when they leave. Yeah, I'd say they're different when they enter. Come on, you know what I mean. But they're not quite there. Get you out of the rain, shall we? We just need to frisk you first. On You understand that full compensation for the above mentioned is part of the agreement when signed, and you waive all future rights to seek further compensation? Yes. Who would you like to benefit from the proceedings if you yourself are incapacitated? Would you excuse me? Please, you need to leave now. It's for your own thing. Whatever you say. Oh, so Hush likes the last one I sent up to the top floor. He'll be the one to conclude this thing. I knew Hush would be pleased with him. He signed up for the full package. Strong, too, all things considered. I'll wrap up down here. Thanks, Jun Lee. I was just informed that we don't need any more test subjects tonight. I don't understand. There's no work? Oh, no. There will be more to come. Depending on the results of the conclusion to this test phase, come back tomorrow and we'll schedule a new spot for you. Come in and take a seat. Mister! Have a good one, okay? I'm sorry to inform you that we have all the test subjects we'll need for tonight. But you're welcome to fill in your information now and come back tomorrow. A guard is waiting outside the door. He'll escort you out of the building when you're done. Help yourself to an apple. Fear trouble. I do need my vitamins.
that of course is important to know that. My family would be so proud. Huh? But what if I'm not there to see it? I've got a body on the ground. I'm moving in. Mm. What? Hey. <laughs> oh, Royce. Hush. Remind me why. Don't do that. Yeah, just as I thought. I mean, then handling all your responsibilities over here. Well, you do God knows what. Yes, I do. I'm ready to experiment. Oh, What's good. That in the I'll let Hush and Sister Lane. What are you doing over there? Now, I don't believe for one second that you're not spending every waking moment on your pet project. You're done for now. Come on. Ready to give it another go. He's ready for you, Hush. He looks strong. Good. A good specimen to conclude this phase. We'll get started when Sister Lay's here. Remember to, to add a footnote concerning the... Oh, scrap that. So, the test subject came to his senses, I see. Good. Sister Lei, yes. We're about to perform the final test of this project phase. Sit down. One on one with Hush 47. Ready Make when him you hurt. are. Jun Li, let's start at 100% signal strength. No. I mean, no, there's no need. The subject is clean, cooperative. I was thinking 25% and then adjust if necessary. 60% is minimum. We'll get no motor control below, and I'm not wasting my time. But... 60. Log concluding experiment H109 initiated. Run calibration 60%. Signal strength 60% confirmed. H109 initiated. Load suggestion. Motor control, 44.1. Execute. The signal's too low. The signal's too weak. We'll get nothing like this. Go to 100%? It's not safe. You've been working too hard. With your condition, it can cause you real physical harm. It's safe. You're strong. You can overcome it. 100%. Do it. Log, continuing experiment H109. Run calibration 100%. H109 initiated at signal strength 100%. Good. All good to go. Identify impulse string. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. We need to go higher. Quiet. I can't focus. 
my head. Nothing. He is a strong one. I can get to him. Just need to focus. Abort! You're going too far. No, he's on the verge to break him. Go higher. It'll kill him. It's already way beyond reasonable intensity. This subject is abnormally resistant. He's no match for Hush. Nothing worth shit ever came to be without pain. I am calling it quits, Hush. You need rest. Okay, okay. A short break. I'll return with a clear head. God damn that assistant. If they'd up the signal, it will kill him. Stay here, okay? Don't even think about getting cold feet again, please. I'll stick around. Right. I'm so glad you decided to go ahead with it. You know, you're going to be a part of something truly amazing. What is He's a genius, you know very well that And this is groundbreaking research. It's an honor, really. But, um... He's under that makes a no lot sense, of pressure Hush. these Damn days, you. so I need to fill out if the you could just you go like along with it, okay? Damn near impossible. Don't try to resist the long. impulses he sends. I don't want him to exert himself. Can you do that? I'll just follow my impulses. Um, that's not, uh... Okay. Good. Thanks. Shit. You got the bastard hush. Now go get Imogen Royce and we can get to the core. Really uncomfortable. I wish we didn't have to do all this. 
cloak and dagger stuff every day to get to work. I can't talk about that stuff up here. Jeez, no one's listening. I love the little girl that head and around like that. Finally, I'll be in the if you had the money for just a fraction of protecting one of those, I seriously doubt you'd be standing out here in the rain like this. Bush is on a big budget. No drones. Oh, shit! Yeah. Come in, come in! All right, there's a hard-ass criminal up there. Over here, Prano! Beauty Breach! Gotta find cover! Oh god. Okay, okay. I see what? Both targets down, good. Just give me a second. And I'm in. You can now access the core 47.
fed up with all of this. Day just keeps getting. Oh man. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Shit. Was today's cold? Welcome. Please follow the gray line to security check. Thank you. You can hack that panel with your camera, 47. Access granted. Access granted. I'm thinking about getting some of those glasses that uh, block out blue light. What? Like the, the ones for colorblind people? No, no, those are a totally different thing. The blue light filtering ones? Protocol overruled. Good. You're alone. I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. Operatives, every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself.
What did it feel like? Taking lives? Random. Disorder. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. I choose him. The two of you go way back. I didn't realize that you... I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the fence to get out. Go now. All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. Warning. Core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning. Fire detected. Command area is all clear. Please advise, over. All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. Man, well then I'm at position, over. Warning, core overheating. Detected. Grab rip! Okay. Can't see him. I can't see him. Can anyone see him? Can't see him either. Over there. Watch him out. All personnel. Breach protocol initiated.
running, core overheating. Shit. That was tens forty seven. Shell causing shockwaves across the world. The so called ICA files. The disclosure of a. You win. His retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No. You won't. You're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yet likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next Constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. 
And for more than two decades, New York based Bob Valentina must be over the moon about Tom stepping down. He's been living alone here for what, six years? Ever since the scandal. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, señor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party. Yeah, hey, bro. Personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. Don't drink. It makes me sentimental. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I've got you. You aren't telling me what I'm... So who's this fool guy? Did you see the wine list? Same. I'm more of a fear man myself. But <laughs> no, if they want to I just never framed an urban legend before. Very post-truth. Yeah. I like it. Plus, he has good reason to be confident. He is Edward's closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I think Yates is at the top of a very short list. So how do you feel about her? How do you think? She and her friends are killed Yamazaka. Cassidy, you probably brought this. And welcome to the Yates Winery. How may I help you? Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. You 
Trust me, the Constant must have lost his mind. Burnwood was in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many of our people? But how could she be a herald? Maybe Vidal will trip her down the stairs. These majestic planes were my children. And the children here to keep now in the building. Yes, my loyal. Over here! You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. Atta boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes, yes it was. Johannesburg calls. And from that were my playground, and the fairy here to pick up the mantle of my ancestors in his flesh. What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them grandchildren. Remember? As if I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialite friends. It's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. I don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. Yeah, he doesn't like how I prioritize. He can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Uh, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Oh, yeah. Come on. I left it right...
Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring them here. Now, let's see. Imagínate una barrera invisible entre tú y yo que se extiende de tus manos, de tus brazos hacia mí. Tratemos eso y estemos fuera de esa zona. Es mi espacio personal. ¿Entiendes? Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. See, it's brown. Excellent. And finally, Sweet, flavorful, really like <laughs> Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are right for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to conduct. Will do. Hello, my lover. Hello. Yeah. Welcome to Viñeda Yates. I do apologize for the delay. The Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief one maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. So how do you like no Argentina? Like everywhere else, full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on distilling every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, a trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack-of-all-trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol, in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer, secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on your mind. I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. I'm interested in these containers. Ah, yes. 
Our large fermentation tanks are constructed from solid French oak and each contain 500 gallons of grey must. Interesting. Are those cooling sockets? They are indeed, senor. The cooling system allows us to fine-tune the entire process. The temperature, humidity levels, etc. Our goal here at Pineda Yates is quite simple. From the state-of-the-art winemaking facility to our carefully nurtured grape stock, hand-picked with loving care by local experts, we have only one purpose, to make the best vinos in Argentina and beyond. Well, looks like an accident waiting to happen. Occupational hazard. Aberwood? Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Excelente. So let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Palatine, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Ah, here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, it's Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead. Very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Herald get-together up at the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine Herald. Once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What, did aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Eva Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. A meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine, some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence, a calculated risk.
Santino, it's just oh, the Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting offed. I need to search you if you want to pass. That's good. Keep those arms there. Don't move. If I find something, I'm gonna crucify you. Okay. You are good to go. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool-gathering mode. 
You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. I have always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. The nervous system. Effectively and reliably... Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something... quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Ark Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Absolutely got right. Point. Perhaps Edward simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. What the hell? You're lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. I agree. Yes. I'm in. Yes. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. This is what you will all attest to. I agree. Yes. 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 I'm in. A toast then, in her honor. Savor the taste because you never will again. And let me remind you. We are in this together. One goes down, we all go down. Here's to loyalty. 
to loyalty. loyalty. Remember, Flowers, you never saw a thing. Not a damn thing. will be long. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug courtesan do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping the crime scene like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Turns out this woman will be a downfall. If it's any consolation, Dawn, you're in you 
asshole! Do just stand there! Constant. Shoot her! And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence brick by brick. Finish it. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dark floor. Oh, and dress appropriate. That's suit good. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, 
And that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. You're exactly the tool they bred you to be. <laughs> Quite a piece of work you are. How could you possibly function on your own? You never even had a name. Until I gave you one. That's him. Burnwood never ceases to surprise me. You really are a most singular individual. And to think she wanted me to put you down. Lucky for you, I never throw away anything useful. Prepare the serum. Forgetting's not so bad. You've done it before. What's he doing? Is he still looking at us? I'm afraid so. Poor Sap just won't accept his days are done. Perhaps I should take him out to the woods and set him free. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> he was a loyal tool. But everything goes the way of the horse and cart eventually. I couldn't agree more. Are you done? The toxins are playing into your fears. Don't let them. Come on. Got to get your head straight. She wants me dead. She has every right to after what we did. But that's not what is really going on. She chose power. In the end, she was just like them. No. She found a way to turn Edward's own cleverness against him. The rest is up to you. I don't know how. You do know. Diana! Once you dispose of Edwards, I will dismantle Providence from the top down. It will finally be over. All you have to do is embrace the past. Sir, we have produced a fresh sample of the serum. Yeah, the exact specs from the lab in Johannesburg. A dosage is on its way to your car as requested. 
Well, I recommend that the muscle paralyzing agent used to incapacitate the subject is out of his system before the serum is administered to avoid unwanted side effects. Yes, sir. I will inform you once the subject comes to. find a catchy name for it. For when we go commercial, I mean. You figure this thing has commercial applications? Who'd want to have their minds wiped? Not wiped, obviously. But that's just fine-tuning. Okay, right now the serum erases long and short-term memory banks wholesale. But in a couple of cycles, we'll be able to isolate the effect to individual memories. Imagine if you could pluck out childhood traumas, ugly breakups, combat trauma. You guys should be over the moon. What are you talking about? I love waking up in a cold sweat with a scream stuck in my throat. <laughs> huh? What? Trust me, they get some real winners out there. 
Anyway, this was January 12 years ago, aroundabouts. It was like this times 10, basically. Couldn't see more than a foot in any direction. It's not freezing while it's still in your nose. It's so cold, the air burns your throat when you breathe. All that. And we're out there dragging some. Oh! Don't let him control the situation. this train for sample backup storage. But since the bombing at their R&D site in Johannesburg, they're refitting the cars as a mobile fuel lab. Uh. Shit! Stop the strain right now! You're gonna regret this!
What? supposed to be exactly Ukraine why the hell do you do that you bastard right in the head
man. I've got someone on the ground. Hold on. Sure, sure. Everyone's very impressed. I get it. I get it. And if you want some kind of elaborately planned calamity or a convenient heart attack, sure, he's your man. But how does he manage in a brawl? I'm willing. I bet this guy doesn't hold a candle to any of us. Too much sneaking around and dressing up. Too much.
don't suppose there's any point calling for help. No. Seems I brought this on myself. Well played, Miss Burnwood. Do you really think she'll be able to resist all that power? This is not how people work. She rejects the power, not the responsibility. <laughs> A noble idea. But please join me in the real world. I trust you already know what this is. Why not simply take it? Embrace who you were always meant to be. No, never again. <sighs> well, I had to try. Go on then. Do your thing. At least I die knowing who I am. International finance continues as Milton Fitzpatrick CEO Alexander Fannin joins the president of Hams and Oil, while the new founder Tim Quinn and a bunch of other steps down. It's been a long time, Agent 47. That's not who I am anymore. The pact is done. The past, dead. And yet, 